Hey guys, so welcome to my 99 summoning guide. In this guide, I'm going to be showing you the best ways to get all the charms in the game um, that I know of. Usually ways that are really good for either AFK or really good money or just pretty dang good summoning XP per hour. So first of all, before we get into the guide, I just want to say I'm not going to tell you exactly which pouches to make because that's just way too complicated. There's way too many pouches. Which pouches you should make really depends on your level. But I will leave a handy link in the description which to the RuneScape Wiki page, which has a table for all the pouches that you need to make at certain levels, which are the best, and so and so. So if you're really struggling with which pouches you want to make, just um, check the link in the description that will lead you to a table which will tell you those exact numbers. I could have included it in the video, but I didn't want to just because it's on the RuneScape Wiki page, and I don't really want to steal too much of their information. Also, you don't want to use your Crimson Charms until at least level 50, and you don't want to use your Blues until at least 79, I would recommend, just because if you waste those Charms in lower level pouch pouches, you're not going to get a whole lot of XP for them, when you really can get a ton of XP for those Charms at higher levels. So before we get started in the methods, we got to talk about the Charm Collector. You can get this from Dungeoneering, you need 100,000 Dungeoneering tokens. It might seem like a lot, but this item is so worth getting, it means that you do not have to spend time picking up Charms. I had to pick up charms getting a 99 summoning because I had 99 summoning before the charm collector came out and it was a humongous pain and I would not recommend that to anyone. No matter how much you hate dungeoneering, just put a, f put a weekend towards getting that charm collector, getting to level 73. It doesn't take that long even if you're soloing. I have a solo dungeoneering guide as well. Um, if anyone needs help, you can also just come into my friends chat and ask me and I can give you tips on how to do dungeoneering. But I would highly recommend to get this charm collector because it makes your life a million times easier if you're doing Slayer and it's just wonderful for summoning. So for gathering gold charms, I'm going to be showing you guys two methods. For low levels, we're going to be maging ice giants and ice warriors with fire spells because that's what they're weak to. These have a very good drop rate of gold charms, over a 50% drop rate, and you can kill them pretty fast even with low level spells, and that you don't take too much damage there either because they're fairly low level. And if you're a higher level and have a higher defense level, level and can tank a bit more damage, um, you can melee hellhounds, and the great part about them is they're also AFK and have an extremely high drop rate for golds. So if you're a really high combat level and have a really low summoning level for some reason, hellhounds are a great place to go, and you can also get some really good combat XP there. So for Ice Warriors, what you want to do is do Mage, and you can use the Fairy Ring code to get there. The code is AIQ, and if you don't have access to Fairy Rings, you can always just teleport to Port Serum and run south. Um, these will be aggressive to you unless you're level 157, so if you are below that, which is the only level that you should be killing them, um, they are aggressive and they'll attack you automatically, so it's pretty AFK, and I believe these have about a 50% drop rate for Gold Charms. I can't really test the exact XP per hour because I'm a high level, and it wouldn't be the same for low levels, um, but they have about a 50% drop rate for Charms, or something like that, for Gold Charms, so you will get a ton of Golds here, which is really helpful at low levels. So for Hellhounds, the best place to kill them is Taverly Resource Dungeon at the Taverly Dungeon. It's pretty hard to get here if you don't have at least 70 agility, but hopefully you all have that. I mean, it is 2013. Who doesn't have 70 agility? Um, if you don't have the Dungeoneering level for the Resource Dungeon, don't worry about it. You can just kill the Hellhounds outside the Resource Dungeon. It's usually just a little less crowded, and uh, the Hellhounds are a little less spread apart inside. They're also very good melee XP per hour, um, and you can AFK if you have a fairly high defensive level, because they do hit hard on lower levels, but... If you are a level, lower level, you shouldn't be here anyway. You should be killing Ice Warriors and Ice Giants. But anyway, um, these are a very, very good source of Gold Charms. So even though Green Charms are kind of a low-level charm, there are not very many monsters that you can kill at low levels, which give a good drop rate of Green Charms. Blood Belts was the best one that I could find, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. You only need 50 Slayer to kill them, and even at low range levels, you can easily tear them to pieces. And they drop blue Green Charms about one in every three kills, so you can get a fair amount of green charms an hour there. And for your high level method, um, we're going to be killing mithril dragons. Just keep in mind that they hit very hard, so you're going to need high defensive level, level high defensive level, and at least, I would say, 75 magic to kill them with magic, or 90 uh, attack to kill them with dragger weapons, which is the fastest way to kill them at the moment. And they give about 145k summoning an hour, which is the best out of any monster I could find. So if you're not against spending the extra money using green charms, Mithril Dragons are an amazingly fast method to get charms. So Blood Velds are really only a good source of green charms if you're a lower level. You can kill them pretty fast, and I guess for lower levels they're okay range XP, they're not great. Of course you need 50 Slayer to kill them, but 50 Slayer is not very hard to get these days. It's quite, quite easy, and you should be training Slayer anyway. Um, and they have about a 30% drop rate for green charms. The next monster that I'll show is actually... Um, to my understanding, the best summoning XP in the game, if you use your green charms, 
but if you're a low level, it's not going to be easy to kill it at all. Um, so yeah, if you're really low level and you need Greed Charms just to get your first level 50 summoning or something like that, this is a good place to go because they do drop a lot of greens and quite a few golds as well, so it's good. So Mithril Dragons are actually, to my understanding, the best summoning XP in the game. They're 145k summoning XP an hour. The only unfortunate thing, though, is you have to use Green Charms for them to be the best summoning XP in the game. You do get quite a bit of XP from the uh, Blues and Crimsons that they drop as well because they drop so many. Um, but they have, I believe, a 55% drop rate of Green Charms, and they drop four at a time, and they don't take very long to kill. So that is a ton of Green Charms an hour. I believe it's about 400 Green Charms an hour. Pretty insane. But um, anyway, you get a lot of green charms here. Very easy, very quick, as long as you're high level. So for crimson charms, the fastest way that I know of to get crimson charms is by killing water fiends with dragors, or you can range them if you don't have dragors. Range works, you just use a black salamander or a royal crossbow to kill them, and you'll get about 135k summoning an hour, which isn't as good as mithril dragons, obviously, but um, using the crimson charms themselves is faster than using green charms, so it might be worth it in your opinion. And also, if you want fast, but also make about 1.5 mil an hour, if you have a yak, a little bit less, if you have a war tortoise and have to bank, you can kill skeletal wyverns. Their bones sell for about 5.5k each. They also have a very, very good effigy drop rate. And you don't need a shield to kill them, so don't worry about that. A lot of people say you need DFSs to kill skeletal wyverns. That's not the case. You don't need a shield at all, if you do it correctly. And they're about 110k summoning an hour, which is also a very good experience. So Water Fiends are kind of the standard go-to for Crimsons. Everyone knows about them. However, if you do use Dragors here instead of range, um, you can get about 300 Crimsons an hour. I imagine it's more with the Ascension Crossbows. I personally cannot afford the Ascension Crossbows. If you have 99, if you don't have 99 something already, you probably can't afford the Ascension Crossbows either. But with Dragors, uh, 300 Crimsons an hour, very, very good melee XP. I have a guide on that down in the description if you want to check that out, but not bad at all. Skeletal Wyverns are one of the less known about creatures. They're actually very, very good money an hour, up to 1.5 mil or more an hour if you have a pack yak, um, which you might. Not not everyone does, but some people do. And they drop two Crimsons at a time, and they die fairly fast. Um, for my testing, they're about 220 Crimsons an hour, so not quite as good as Water Fiends, but they definitely are better money. Um, not quite as good XP either, but if you just have these as a Slayer task or want to try out something different than Water Fiends that's nearly as good, something XP an hour, uh, go ahead and try out um, Wyverns, and also if you get a blue charm, it's two blue charms in one drop. Not bad. I'm not arguing with that. So if you really want to focus on money and summoning an hour, even better money than Skeletal Wyverns, you can kill King Black Dragon, which is about two mil an hour if you have Dragors and are using the world quick hopping method, but sacrificing a lot of summoning XP because you're only going to be getting about 70,000 summoning an hour. And also you can kill Gladius, which are between 1.5 and 2 mil an hour, depending on how lucky you get with keys. And you get a ton of rune items there as well that you can either alk or bank if you have a pack yak. And these are about 90,000 summoning an hour, so they're pretty good as well. A little bit annoying to kill, but they do have a very good drop rate of Crimsons. So a lot of people know King Black Dragon is a newbie boss. What a lot of people don't know is that he drops four Crimsons at a time and has a very high drop rate for Crimsons, about a 65% drop rate. He's not the best summoning XP in the game just because he takes so long to kill, but if you use the world quick hopping method, so you just quick hop to a friend's world after you kill a KBD and then quick hop once he's killed again, uh, you can get a ton of Crimsons an hour, about 90k summoning an hour, so it's not bad and you make a lot of money as well. Everyone knows Gladius dropped the Ascension Keys and a whole ton of rune items and adamant items and stuff. What a lot of people don't know is they're actually very, very good for Crimsons as well. Um, they have an extremely high drop rate from Crimsons. I believe it's about 65%, um, and you can kill a fair amount of them an hour. Uh, the spot where I show you in the video is the only spot in the dungeon where you can strictly kill Gladius and not have to worry about any healers at all, which is super, super handy because the healers don't drop a whole lot of Crimsons. So you can just strictly farm the Crimsons here and rack in the money from all those Ascension Keys and rune drops. So for gathering blue charms, you can kill Glacors, which have a 33% drop rate of blues and a 33% drop rate of crimsons as well, and they drop three charms at a time, so they're very fast charms. They are not the fastest kills, but you can still gather 90,000 summoning an hour, which is pretty decent, and make some money there and have some amazing combat XP as well. Glacors are great for that. And also the best blues in the game at the moment is Exiled Calphites. Um, you can kill them so fast, and they have about a 30% drop rate for blue charms, so you can just garner a ton of blue charms an hour. I'll be showing you guys how to do that, do not worry. And they're about 135k summoning an hour. Obviously you don't get as many crimsons as water fiends, but they're about the same XP just because of all the blues you get. 
The great thing about Glacors is they drop charms 67% or two thirds of the time, and they have a 33% drop rate for blues and 33% drop rate from crimsons, and they also drop three charms at a time, which means you can expect one blue and one crimson per Glacor kill on average. Which means if you're killing 75 an hour, that's 75 blues and 75 crimsons an hour, which is some pretty dang good summoning XP. Also, amazing magic XP as well. Great place. Exiled Cow Fights are not only great money if you happen to bank the um, damage shitting that they drop, but they're also incredible blue charms because they have a very high drop rate for blue charms, about 29%, uh, I believe, something along those lines. It's on the RuneScape wiki. But you can kill them so fast that with a charm collector you can get a ton of blue charms an hour, and this is also one of the best summoning XP rates in the game, even though you don't get a whole ton of crimsons and other charms, just because of all the blues that you get. So you just want to camp out and pretty much kill them with mage. If you use anything else, if you use melee or range, you will get hit so hard that it's really not worth using. So you really want to use mage because the mage armor has really good defense against their attacks. But yeah, just mow them down and get a ton of blue charms and just rack in that summoning XP. It's great. You can also bank the chitin if you want for extra money, but it takes a lot of time. So that's about all for this video. If anyone is wondering, I forgot to mention earlier, but all my XP rates are based on 99 summoning. So if you have lower summoning levels, it's going to be a bit slower experience-wise, but you'll be getting the same amount of charms per hour. Again, just look in the link in the description, and that will take you to the RuneScape wiki page, which will tell you exactly which pouches you want to make at each level. And of course, if you want to check out my Water Fiends guide, that will be in the description as well. They're by far the most popular method to train summoning, and for good reason, because they got a lot of crimson an hour. But anyway, just make sure you get that Bone Crusher, or I mean, you want to get a Bone Crusher, but make sure that you get the Charming Imp to collect the charms from Dungeoneering. And if you have any questions about summoning, or any even anything else in general, just join my friends chat and game, and I'll help you, or any of the people that are in there can usually be pretty friendly and help you out as well. Thanks for watching this guide, and farewell.